Okay, Jim, uh, this is November 3, Golf Kilo Victor, M3 GKV, and it's Bob from near Allentown, Pennsylvania. Roger, roger, Bob. Uh, and what radio are you running? Okay, we're running the Yazoo FTDX 101D and uh, running that into an ACOM 600F amplifier and into about a 133-foot NFED, which is unfortunately up only a which is... I spoke to you before, but the bin conditions hopefully are a little better, and I wanted to see how this is sounding, and uh, hopefully we have the uh, dynamic range where it needs to be. Back to you. Roger, Bob, I'm copying you on my local antenna. Um, it's uh, about even with uh, uh, Milford, but uh, if I have an option, I'll take my local because I have a better audio, uh, a more true audio response uh, received uh, than off of the SDRs. It seems like the SDRs kind of roll off the bottom end a little bit around uh, 150 cycles, 200 cycles. So um, I'll take I'll take mine <laughs> if I if I can. So uh, tell me about your a little bit more about your radio. So Something that you uh, really like about your radio in about 15 seconds. Okay, what do I like about the radio? I let, well, I've, I've had some other radios before. I uh, had the, the uh, ICOM 7610 and then bought this. Uh, I, I do enjoy this more. I like the, I like the scope function on it uh, and the, the layout of it. Uh, also like the, the build quality and, and the little bit larger size. So uh, I've enjoyed the radio immensely. Back to you. Alrighty, uh, audio seems to be uh, fairly uh, fairly broad. It doesn't, you know, it's not uh, mid-rangey. Uh, I would uh, suggest uh, a couple of more clicks uh, on the top end EQ uh, if you uh, if you can, uh, and uh, just a, a double check to be sure that you're uh, as far as the setup that you're running your compressor at about a three. Uh, we suggest uh, that you engage the compressor uh, at about a three. You'll never hear it, but it is part of the uh, fattening process. Roger. Okay, very good, Jim. Um, I have a, this is a three-band EQ on here, and I'm, I'm running at the, the top band at 2,900 hertz, and uh, I have that thing at, at the highest level I can put it, and I, I'm using a bandwidth of, of two, which should make it fairly fairly broad banded on there, so I, I'm not sure I can get more. I could change the uh, upper frequency, up or down, but uh, I'm not sure I can get it uh, much higher than that as far as the, the amount of boost on it. Roger. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty close there. It, it sounds good. Uh, just a question about your band pass. You're running 100 to 2900, Roger? Um, and this thing actually may be at, at, at 100 to... Uh, to 3,050. I, I don't know if it's better if I were to back it down. Yeah, I would run at 29 because uh, you don't want to encourage people to come looking for you with pitchforks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we can we can drop that down a little bit. But uh, okay, well, looks like this is the best I can do at the moment with this thing. So I, I thank you for your time and for all the work you do for for everybody. Uh, we'll let you run and get some other. Uh, other people, the KC9 DKV, this is M3 DKV, I'll be clear in the final. R Roger, Bob. Uh, what mic are you running, sir? Uh, this is the Electro Voice RE320. Um, may as well just try this thing. I, I've been running this thing on the uh, the boost, or the, the scoop switch, they call it. Uh, now we're back to the unscooped uh, switch on this thing. I don't know if that changed anything. Our signal's kind of up and down, so it's hard to, to say, but uh, there were occasions where your syllabic range was uh, greater than others, and in other words, your top end. So I would pay particular attention to the way I uh, would address that microphone. That is, if you were to pull off mic, look around, you know, it may uh, affect your audio uh, as far as the... Um, the uh, the cutting aspects of it, you know. So I would definitely want to stay on mic. And, and about how many uh, inches are, are you away from it? Okay, at this point I'm probably about two inches from it is, is where I normally speak. 
Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. I would stay right there, and I would pay particular attention to uh, uh, staying there. And also, um, another thing that uh, we can do to help fatten our signal is what we can do personally as far as uh, our getting our audio, uh, uh, you know, as opposed to uh, all of the electronics that uh, are working for us. And that is, uh, if we look at our output meter, um, uh, inside band, you know, it, it resembles somewhat like a, a, um, a VU meter. And uh, the game is to keep that meter up there in the sweet spot towards 100% as much as possible as we speak. We're looking at this meter and there's two things um, between the tempo of our words and the um, the ability to amplitude modulate our voice similarly from word to word. So what we're looking for is a consistency uh, of that meter reading in the sweet spot and trying to keep it keep it there. Roger? Okay, yes, I've heard you make those recommendations uh, before. I'll have to practice on that. Uh, this meter right now is, is in the, I think, the averaging, so uh, I need to fire up my antenna tuner, bypass it, and then I can use my, my large meter and, uh, and put that on, on peak rather than averaging, and, and hopefully I can uh, practice on that. Back to you. Yeah, Roger, yeah, PEP. Uh, is uh, is more interesting than uh, you know RMS because uh, you you want that meter to to move uh, you know uh, at a good rate and uh, so that it becomes more difficult <laughs> to increase your difficult rating, Roger. Okay, no, no, I, I understand. So uh, we'll we'll have to do that. I uh, <laughs> we'll we'll try that and uh, see if we can perfect this a little bit more. But you know, again, thank you, and I, I hope you have a great weekend and a safe weekend. Thank you. Roger, Bob. And I did note a couple of times uh, transients uh, in your audio. So uh, if you have a uh, foam windscreen for that microphone, uh, I, I would use that. It doesn't uh, degradate the audio signal at all, but it does uh, uh, protect you from uh, generating uh, sounds that are less than words. Roger? Okay. Yes, I'm going to have to invest with that. I, I know this microphone, the advertise it, is that it... Uh a variable D technology, they call it, and it supposedly is helpful um, on preventing plosives and things compared to maybe uh, some of the Heil microphones. But uh, I, I will have to uh, in invest in the windscreen as you're suggesting. Yeah, it's it's close, but uh, if you have hard P's and B's, you know I, I can I can hear those and uh, the idea behind the uh, the foam windscreen that it just uh, straightens up your audio and makes it just absolutely broadcast quality. That's I'm uh, actually just uh, touching this mic here. If you if you go to YouTube and do a call it a search for KC9VKV, uh, and uh, that'll take you to our QSO Vlog page, and on that page you'll be looking for my group here check 73120 today's date and uh, you'll see that I'm uh, right in that mic I'm right up on it and uh, it is the windscreen that makes it uh, possible to do that Roger okay yeah it's very good um, I'm gonna be excited to, uh, to listen to I, I guess tomorrow when it leaves in the past it looks like pretty well you get these things posted sometimes pretty well you get these things patiently awaiting for that again thank you for all your help Roger, Roger, Bob. Okay, sir, uh, threes to you, and uh, uh, thanks for checking in, and uh, we'll see you next uh, Friday if you get a chance to drop by, Roger. I will do that. I always enjoy listening to the CEO of uh, your, your program on here. So, very good. This is N3GKV73. Three to you, Bob. Uh, have a good uh, afternoon. A great weekend. This is a KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network, about 10 minutes till 5. We turn into a pumpkin at 5, so if you've got a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.